Disney Dreamlight Valley just gave us our first glimpse of Update 5 since we heard about it from the 2023 roadmap. In a short video posted to the official Disney Dreamlight Valley Twitter account, we see the player walking through the valley. Nothing new, nothing exciting, except the player is carrying a Disney Dreamlight Valley umbrella. And this video has the caption, April showers bring May flowers. While well, you'll need to dodge the rain for now, update five will bring umbrellas. So it is confirmed we will have umbrellas coming with update five, but what form will they take and what else will come with them? Now on the surface, maybe this does just mean we are adding umbrellas. They are a unique item in the game. They are going to be a cosmetic thing that you can enable perhaps through the wardrobe menu or maybe through another slot on the tool ring for it being your carried item. And maybe umbrellas are unique and it's only going to be umbrellas. But why stop at umbrellas? If we are adding an entire category of carried items, this opens up many possibilities for customization in the game. So could this be the start of held items in the game? All sorts of things. So what could Disney Dreamlight Valley bring in the way of carried items if that's the direction that this goes? If I think of a game like Pocket Camp, carried items is an entire category in the wardrobe section. And we have so many carried items in that game. You can carry a whole range of food items, functional items like fans, adorable plush handbags, shopping bags, baskets of apples. And then around Halloween, we even had special items. You could carry a wizard staff. You could carry a witch's broom. During the spring, they have giant oversized flowers that you can carry along with an entire array of umbrellas. Imagine carrying around your favorite Disney character as a little plush along with you. Imagine how this could upgrade the star path if they decided to put carried items in the star path. Now, I'm not saying that's what they're saying with this, but it could be. This opens up the possibility for things like that to be potentially coming to the game. But there's something else in this video that I think we need to pay attention to. And that's the small text at the bottom of the screen that says, some optional items may require purchase. That sure sounds like the premium shop. And so does that mean that you will only be able to get umbrellas from the premium shop? Does it mean that this particular umbrella that we're seeing in this video is in the premium shop or in a premium star path? The umbrella that we have in the video is Disney Dreamlight Valley themed. It has the logo. It has the little Dreamlight icon on it. This is the type of umbrella that I would expect to be your default that's given to you in the game, not something that you would have to buy as a premium item. But maybe they mean that some of the umbrellas will be in the premium shop. Maybe some of them will be in the premium star path, the regular star path, Scrooge's shop. Maybe you could even craft some of them. I feel like I need this game to allow me to craft a flower umbrella. If I pick up enough of those passion lilies, let me carry something that looks like a giant passion lily around with me as my umbrella. I'd love it if we saw something like that come to the game as a possibility for umbrellas. So hopefully not all of the umbrellas, even though they're cosmetic items, will be locked behind a paywall, but we don't know that yet. But there's something else here. So I'm reading this statement, some optional items may require purchase. I'm thinking of the premium shop, and then I'm also thinking of another recent tweet from Disney Dreamlight Valley, where they sent out a player survey. And on that player survey, it asked us things about various aspects of the game, including the premium shop. And on that survey, they had brought up the possibility of having different skins or different Dreamlight styles for our tools in the premium shop. So Dreamlight styles for the tools that make your tools appear differently. They use the example of your pickaxe now looking like a large hammer that you could smash rocks with instead. Well, what's to stop them from allowing us to smash rocks with an umbrella? An umbrella is basically a melee weapon, so why couldn't we smash rocks with it? So there is this possibility that they're introducing only umbrellas. There's a possibility that they're introducing a category of carried items as a customization for our character. But there's also the possibility that this is hinting at skins for our tools coming in the next update. And because those were alongside talk of the premium shop, I could definitely see skins for our tools being something that is only in the premium shop, though I hope not, similar to the way house skins are currently only in the premium shop. Maybe that's where they will start to introduce them and we will have other ways to earn them, find them, craft them, whatever it is. 
but I could certainly see that being something that becomes exclusive to the premium shop. So are umbrellas going to be a separate carried item? Are they going to be a separate category of just umbrellas and that's the only thing that we see? Maybe testing out the carried items possibility just with umbrellas to start and maybe expanding to others in the future? Or are we actually seeing somebody in this picture carrying something like a pickaxe that's been reskinned to look like an umbrella? So I could easily see the watering can becoming say a shopping bag or another kind of a bag that you would hold. But what do you think? Do you think the umbrella is going to be a reskin of tools? Do you think it's going to be a specific umbrella category? Or are we opening up the customization possibilities of carried items in the game? So there is one other thing that seeing an umbrella in the game reminds me of. If we think of umbrellas and we think of Disney, then the next logical thing might be Mary Poppins. Now, I think it's unlikely that Mary Poppins is coming to the game, but what if flying an umbrella came to the game? I could see the umbrella having some sort of minor transportation function. I think this is the least likely thing to come with the addition of umbrellas to the game, but it's kind of fun to think about. One thing we haven't talked about yet is when is update five coming? So in the tweet, they did say April showers bring May flowers while you'll need to dodge the rain for now. Update five will bring umbrellas. So does that mean they will be bringing us update five sometime after May? or sometime during May. So if we go back to that early 2023 roadmap that they released, we're up to this point where the next thing on it says early summer. And early summer, according to the calendar, doesn't even start until June 21st. So it seems likely that this tweet may be reminding us that it's not coming in May, that we'll have to wait a little longer for that update to drop if we're staying on that roadmap schedule. Now roadmaps can always change and it's also possible that they could drop something in between the slots on there, but it seems a little bit more likely that it's a reminder that things are coming. It seems like that early summer update could be something big and this is the way that they're going to get us there by showing us little bits as we go along. Do you want to see particular carried items come to the game? Are you looking forward to having a particular kind of dream style for your tools? Let's share our ideas down in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. I hope to see you in an upcoming live stream. Subscribe and turn on notifications to find out the next time that we go live. And I hope to see you there.